What's good everybody, it's Taiwan here, and you may know me from Powerbomb Jutsu, you can find Powerbomb Jutsu on BlurgeOnline.com and on iTunes, subscribe on iTunes, and check us out on Stitcher's Radio, check out the other podcasts, CP Time, Kage Summit, and Chicago K-Pop, find those on iTunes and BlurgeOnline.com, and I'm doing a special, I guess, episode for uh, Blurge playthroughs, uh, Pokemon Crystal, or Pokemon Liquid Crystal, uh, da, 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 which is Darrell's thing, but I asked him, like, I wanted to be on this, because I had a fucking awful day, I just want to get this shit off my chest, and maybe I'll make some people laugh, so, today at my job, like, I come in, I gotta work pets, I don't like working pets, and if you don't know, I work at Walmart, uh, yeah, retail, so, I go into pets, I start working, I got, like, one cart um, fucking manager makes pick stuff so I got like two carts back there I get one done working on another one motherfuckers pick another cart get that one done niggas pick another cart so each time I get one done someone adds another cart so I'm always at two and someone might add like an extra one and I'm at three I'm like oh my god and like I have all these managers on my ass so like oh get this done get this done and my department it's by another department like the combined it's pets and paper goods and chemicals like a few hours down from me we got managers and other employees working in you know paper goods and chemicals but i'm by myself with pets and there's so much shit to get done in pets and i'm like well one of you motherfucking managers should come over here and help me nah, everybody's over in paper goods and chemicals even employees so i'm like what the fuck is this there's about two employees over in paper goods and chemicals and a few managers they were there earlier and i was only in pets like each time i'm working on stuff they would come over managers would come over it's like hey we got another cart in the back for you i'm like you expect me to get i didn't say this out loud but i'm like thinking to myself you expect me to get all this shit done i'm by myself you these guys can come over and help me if you're over there doing shit no nobody wants to help taiwan we want to leave this motherfucker over for pets and let him strive strive for his life i don't even think that's the right words but fuck it this shit makes me mad because we once had four people we had me another guy named richard girl named kim girl named vicky kim switched a different to uh switched to a different department she went ghost i don't know if she quit got fired whatever so it was me richard and vicky well vicky went to remodel because every five years walmart does a remodel so she was in the remodel crew so it was just me and richard and i felt bad for him because like i only work weekends he works you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So he does that. He's full time. So like, I feel bad for him because I'm like, I wonder if he got help during the weekdays. And they would have me over and Paper Good, him over in pets. Sometimes me over in pets, him and Paper Goods, and we get so much shit. And it's like we're understaffed. We need more people. And we had a girl over there. I guess they they brung her to like the candy department, so she wasn't with us. And I guess we have a Spanish girl now working over there, but she wasn't there today. So it's like we're understaffed and shit. And now the girl Vicky came back when she's about to take over this uh, department manager position for paper goods and chemicals. They split the departments up, so department managers are split now. Because the newest one we had that only lasted what a few weeks, he decided to switch because I guess it's too crazy over in paper goods and chemicals and shit. But it felt like today it was just me by myself doing shit and. The managers kept on telling me, oh, you got to get this done, you got to get this done, you got to get this done. But these motherfuckers won't help me. But these niggas was over in the other department a few hours away from me doing this shit. Like, you get one of you motherfuckers who came over and helped me. And, like, shit was just so stressful. I'm like, yo, this shit's the breaking point. So, fuck, fuck this job. Um, these niggas ain't shit. The department manager, I'm not going to say department manager. Some of these managers ain't shit. And fuck them. She got me so mad because one of the uh, managers was like, you need to have this done. There was three carts, a lot of shit on it, and like a gray pack L card. And if you know what a gray pack is, well, you, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you work retail. But a gray pack is like usually like a cardboard box. And it's not gray, but I'll explain it. But it has a whole bunch of shit in it. And like in pets, there's a whole bunch of little shit. Toys, dog toys, cat toys, shit like that. So there's a whole bunch of shit in these boxes. And there's like six seven eight boxes on the cart and like usually we deal with like one or two gray packs and also a gray pack can be like a gray container like a hard plastic container full of like dog treats and shit like that so usually we get like one or two and that takes a while i have about fucking 
and yeah, I do cuss and I do say the N word, so you wanna have to get comfortable with this shit. So I had about fucking seven or eight of these bitches I had to work, or five or six, something like that, and I didn't get all of it done. And there's two other carts that need to be done. And the, and the guy was like, "Well, you need to get this done before you leave." Fuck out of here. And the shit made me so mad because it was not on top of that, but I had an old lady come up to me and she was asking me, "Do we have this in the back? Do we have such and such in the back?" And you know, I didn't have a scanner on me. And usually, you were supposed to. I mean, when people ask you that, you usually have a Gemini with you. Gemini, you can scan shit to see if it's in the back. I didn't have one, so I took ours, our department one. So I told the lady, like, sorry, I don't have a Gemini. I can't check for you. She's like, well, can you go in the back and look? I'll just explain to you. And I had to tell her, look, I don't have a Gemini. I can't scan this for you. It was like, well, can you find one in the back? I was like, all right, get, give me a second. Because some of these motherfuckers in the back, they're stingy with their Geminis. They don't want to give them up. So I'm trying to think here. I'm, I'm drawing blanks. So I, I decided to just scout around. I asked, it, like, I saw this nice girl. She works there. Um, works in the back and shit. And I was like, hey, can I borrow your Gemini? She's like, yeah, yeah, cool. So I finally go out, scan what she was looking for. We didn't even have it. So then the store manager comes to me later on uh, um, telling me to the old lady, the one that asked me, can I check something in the back? Said I didn't want to help her. I was like, and I tried to explain to him that's not true. I didn't have a Gemini. I can't help a customer if I don't have a Gemini to see what's in the back because without a Gemini, I don't know where shit is in the back like you need a gemini to scan stuff out from the back to bring it out to the floor of the stock he's like yeah that's cool whatever he's like oh do we have this stuff in the back and there's like frozen dog treats and shit like that i'm like i don't know he was like well do you know where they're at i was like i know where the area where to keep them at but i don't know if we have that exact kind that the lady was looking for in the back he's like well we always have stuff in the back that's not bending and what they mean by bend is like when you bend something in it's in the back it's they have like tags you can scan them and you can put them in a certain areas and i'm thinking to myself like look these half of these motherfucking managers want me to put shit out i don't got time to go to the back if it's not on the gemini i'm not going to go all the way to the back and check these motherfuckers want me to get these carts up with shit out on the floor stop so he tells me to go back and check so i go back and check still don't have the shit but the stuff the frozen dog shit that was there in the back wasn't scanned in so that doesn't surprise me so like so from that day from today it's, it, it really pissed me off and like i had a bad day throughout the whole fucking day and like these managers getting on my dick and i want these managers on my dick they're annoying hop off my dick um so yeah i'm kind of at my boy point so what this the story is get a good education because you don't want to be working fucking retail all your life or mcdonald's and shit like that i don't know become a drug kingpin i don't recommend doing that but do whatever the fuck you want to do i'm happy i'm in college and i'm working hard to get a degree because I, I wouldn't want to put up with this shit for the rest of my life um uh, uh, yeah yeah so these managers ain't shit and like since i'm on the topic of walmart fuck these customers some of these customers aren't shit they really aren't shit some of these motherfuckers will run you over with their carts they'll leave shit everywhere they don't put shit back they're like, oh, the, cu- oh, the fucking employees will get it. Nah, it, it doesn't work like that. We're busy. We don't have time to be cleaning up after you motherfuckers. You ain't shit. I'm not talking about all the customers, but some. I'm not talking about all managers. There's some. Uh, some customers just are ignorant. Don't want to work with you. Don't not understanding. Like, if you scan something, like, sorry, we don't have it in the back. Well, you guys never have this in the back. Look, if it's not on my cart, I don't know where the fuck it is. And if I don't have a scanner to check... Nigga, I don't know where the fuck it is. I'm sorry it's not here. You blame the blame the department manager. She's in charge of this shit. She should have this shit on stock. Have this shit on the floor. Ordering this shit. That's not my fault. I just stock shit. Get it get get it fucking straight. Um what else? What else I don't like about my job? I was I was a lot madder earlier. I wish I was on earlier. I've been fucking screaming and shit, but now that I've eaten and calmed down, I'm not as mad, but as you can tell my voice by you know me cousin you could tell i'm still upset so what else what else about these customers i don't fucking like um some of these motherfuckers are nasty niggas are pooping in the bathroom don't even flush the toilet smear poop on the walls i came in the fucking bathroom once in the back bathroom in my walmart saw like little smudges of poop on the wall that's fucking disgusting man um some of the janitors tell me some of these girls have like bloody tampons don't even flush them down the toilet. It's 
blood on the fucking bathroom walls and shit. Well, not the walls, but like inside, you know, the little cubbies when you go in these bathrooms, sometimes they're on the cubbies and shit. It's fucking nasty. Some of you bitches need to. I don't know. Put you bitches in cages. No, I'll take that back. That's that's not cool. Um, but that's fucking nasty. Um, some of these employees too, man. But let me go back on the manager. There's this manager called. Um, his name is Co-Manager John. This nigga, he on my dick for some reason. I don't know why, but he always bothers me. And I don't know what I've done to him because I do my job. I think it always bothers me. Like, I don't know if he's a faggot. I don't know if he likes me or something. I don't swing that way. Stop fucking bothering me. Get off my dick. Um, and there's this black guy. Nigga looks like a tar baby. And Lord forgive me for saying this because I don't want no bad karma coming back to me. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just getting this shit off my chest. This nigga just be staring at people. And, like, I wanted to get a water today. And, like, I bend down like I don't bend over like with my ass up because that's that's gay shit nothing against gay people I'm not a gay hater but I want to say faggot shit like that and gay as fuck because it's just part of my vocabulary sorry so like I bend down like not with my ass up but like downwards to pick up my water and like I look and turn my head this nigga staring at me and shit like, like why the fuck you looking at me like that man nigga looking in my soul and shit like I didn't do nothing to you nigga Nigerian ass dark black charcoal tar baby ass motherfucker and uh, I'm not racist I'm black myself but I got brown skin complexion yeah but fuck uh, yeah today's it's been a breaking point man hopefully by the time this episode comes out with my little snippet of me just complaining about my fucking job and people and shit I'm, I, uh, hopefully I found a new job so I'm gonna be looking for one so I'm getting tired of fucking working at Walmart, bro. Shit, it's, it's fucking, it sucks. It's a simple job, but like, it's, it's getting more complicated. Like, the manager's getting on my nerves. These customers getting on my nerves. Some of these people I work with get on my nerves. And fuck Vicky, the one I mentioned earlier, because she a snitch. And now she kissing ass, and now she's, she may become the new department manager now. All that ass kissing. Uh, fuck ass kissers, man. Stop kissing ass, and I hope I hope I never have to kiss ass for anything. It's not worth it. Don't be an ass kisser. Don't be a snitch. And she snitched on me once. So I, I made a comment about something being bullshit, and like she went back and told one of ZMS, which is a manager. And like the manager came back to me and said, like, "Oh yeah, I heard what you said." I'm like, "This motherfucking bitch, Vicky. She snitched on me. Fucking snitch." Yeah, but that that's it. Uh, I'm not shit. Clearly, you know. But this job ain't shit. Some of these people ain't shit. And some of these fucking coworkers ain't shit. Some of these fucking managers ain't shit. Some of these fucking customers ain't shit. And retail ain't really shit. But I'm Taiwan. I'm just another nigga. Uh, check out blurredsonline.com because, you know, that's what I fuck with. Check out Powerbomb YouTube because it's one of the best pro wrestling podcasts in the world. We don't talk about just wrestling, we talk about everything. Check out CB Time because them niggas is funny as fuck. Check out Chicago K-pop because you love yourself some K-pop, nigga. Check out Kage Summit because it's all about anime, my nigga. And yeah, hope you enjoy Darrell's Pokemon Liquid Crystal playthrough. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash blurredsonline.com. Remember, I'm Modern World Negro and I ain't shit. Psych, I'm not that nigga. I'm fucking Taiwan. And I don't have a really catchphrase, nigga. Peace. Hey, did you enjoy that video? You didn't have to hear me. You have to hear some Taiwan. If you guys like Taiwan, you should check out some of these other things he's in. Such as this video from Anime USA. Or this one from Otakon. You can also check out this third video, which is Jordan. You remember him from the GTA playthrough, probably. Uh, he's doing blur facts, so you should check that out too. I'll be back next video, so don't don't worry, don't worry, it's all good.